Good afternoon, welcome to Ice TV English News and Subla Kangalo. In the top stories we have, young woman found dead under suspicious circumstances with ligator marks on neck and other injury marks on her body at Ngarautel Ngatemsoy Laikon in Hero. The news in detail. A 25-year-old woman was found dead under suspicious circumstances with multiple injury marks on her body at Ngarautel Ngatemsoy Lekon in Hairok in Thobal district this morning. The deceased has been identified as Ningthaujam Rebika, daughter of Ingo of Hairok Part 2, Tomal Makong. According to family members, she had left home yesterday to visit the watermelon festival being held at Hairok Litan. When she did not return by nightfall, family records that she might have eloped. They received the shocking news of a body being discovered by some people lying in a field. There were ligature marks around her neck and wounds inflicted by sharp blades and heavy objects on her face and other parts of the body. It is believed that she might have been killed by someone or some people. It is not yet known who might have committed the heinous crime. Police have already started an investigation into the death. Tension in the area is reportedly high after the news about the possible murder of the young woman spread. Enraged villagers have started agitation to protest the alleged killing. The house of a suspected accused was torched by an angry mob, reports aided. Repoll is underway for the Autonomous District Council election at 72 polling stations along with the third polling at two polling stations in Tarachanpur district where election could not be conducted on June 1 as the polling officials have failed to reach their designated stations in time. So far, there is no report of any untoward incidents happening from any place. Science Club Jiriban Government Higher Secondary School has organized a World Environment Day at the school premises. ADC in charge H. Dananjoy and principal of the school C. H. Diren Chandra attended the function. The highlight of the observance was plantation of saplings on the school campus. The DPC candidates for the post of LDC, Pharmacist, MHW and Grade 4 has demanded that the authorities concerned announce the result of the DPC held for filling a vacant post at Urban Health Center, Thaubal, at the earliest. Addressing a press meet at Moirangkom, convener T. H. Sanjoy said, Viva was test for filling up 18 vacant posts at the center comprising five staff nurses, one pharmacist, one male health worker, one LDC and 10 grade 4 staff was held in November 2013. However, the results of the test have not been announced till date, he said, while urging the authorities to announce the result of the test at the earliest. Award-winning sport persons of the state locked the main gate of Kumalampak Sports Complex to protest the delay in handing over their due incentive awards by the state government. One of the athletes say that the state government has not handed over due incentives for winning medals at the Jharkhand National Games in 2011, even though the next national games at Kerala has come and gone. Although the chief minister as well as other ministers praised the sport persons of the state for promoting Manipur all over the world, their wrong policies have created this illusion among many players, he said. The protesting medal-winning sport persons have warned that if the incentive awards are not distributed immediately, they will consider taking up more intense agitations. <laughs> Minister, 
Members of Film Forum Manipur and CAF and PD Labor Welfare Association conducted a joint social service camp at Kekrupa today ahead of June 18 celebration. President of FFM Lai Mayum Surjakanta said his organization has listed the social service camp at Kekrupa as one of its calendar program and has been holding the camp for the past many years. The program was taken up with the idea of honoring the sacrifices made by the martyrs of June 18, he aided. General Secretary of CAF and PD Labor Welfare Association, Romain Rajit Moirangcha, said that even though the members of the association are daily wage earners, they have taken part in cleaning the site at Craig Kurpat with the earnest hope that the June 18 memorial service is held without any disturbance every year. <laughs> World Environment Day was observed at Kaithel Manbi yesterday with MLA of Kangpokpi, named Cha Kipgen, additional principal chief conservator of forests, Mul Kok Hao Kipgen, DFO Sadar Hills Robert Sailam, and Dr. Johan and Dr. Guido from Germany as the main invitees. Saplings were planted as part of the observation, which was organized by Kuki Baptist Church No. 5, Kangpokpi area. And moving on to some national international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday reached Bangladesh for his two-day visit, which will focus on strengthening ties, enhancing trade and signing of crucial land boundary agreement. In a departure from protocol, Modi was received by his Bangladeshi counterpart, Sheikh Hasina. Thanking Sheikh Hasina for the welcome, Modi tweeted, Hello Bangladesh, I bring with me the affection and goodwill of the people of India. Thank you PM Sheikh Hasina for the warm welcome. I look forward to a very good visit that will strengthen ties between India and Bangladesh. With the hope of a breakthrough in talks, former military servicemen met Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and Army Chief General Darabil Singh Suhag on Saturday over a delay in one rank one pension scheme. However, the Parikar's first meeting with ex-servicemen has been inconclusive. Seeking an intervention, the ex-servicemen have written a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking for the implementation of OROP as soon as possible. While the government has said that it is an in favour of the scheme, they are unwilling to commit to a timeline. The meeting remains inconclusive. We will continue with our agitation. There is no conclusion in the definition of one rank, one pension. Major General Sadbir Singh said, The second round of talks between the ex-servicemen, the defense minister and the army chief will take place later in the day. Three terrorists were killed in a gun battle with security forces in Naugam sector of North Kashmir, Kupwara district early morning today. The infiltration were intercepted along the line of control in Kupwara district by security forces as they were trying to cross over to India from across the border. As soon as the infiltration crossed to the site of the LOC, they were challenged, said an army official. The operation is still on, said sources, adding that the army suspect presence of more terrorists in the area. This is the third infiltration attempt foiled by army in the last two weeks. And before we wind up the talk stories once again. 
Young woman found dead under suspicious circumstances with ligature marks on neck and other injury marks on her body at Ngarautel Ngatem Soy Lycon in Hyro. Well, thank you so much for joining with us and stay tuned for more news.